Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordi, if you don't know me. And today I filmed this look. Ow. I kind of hit myself in the face with my fingernail when I did that. I need to be more careful. It's kind of a chill, light cut crease uh, with a soft pink lip. As you can see, I don't know why I explained the look. You can see it right in front of your eyes. But this is the look. In this video, I used my brushes that are now available. The link will be below. If you'd like to see how I created this look, then of course you're gonna wanna keep watching. If you don't wanna see it, then move on. I forgive you, I still love you, it's fine. I was gonna say that the first thing I need is lip balm, but what I actually need is water. I'll be right back. This is the NYX. This is everything lip loving balm. Then of course, I have to put on my Maybelline Meg Lume Elixir Serum. Serum, what was that voice? Just a couple drops, and I like to warm it up in my hands. And then, pat it into my face. Ben always comes to have a snack when I'm filming. Can you hear him crunching? This little product is one of my new favorites. It's the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream and it's got a really pale yellow tint to it, which automatically brightens the under eyes. And it's also got vitamin C and collagen to fight the crow's feet and the under eye circles. And it smells so good. Another new product that I am totally in love with. This is the Huxley Anti-Gravity Face Cream and it literally makes my face smell like a flower. I love the finish of this cream. It feels so lightweight and moisturizing, but heavy at the same time, if that makes any sense. It just makes my face feel like so plump. Next, I'm using the Prime Protect Sun Base by Pony Effect with SPF 50. I know that seems like a lot of steps before even applying any makeup, but I think that priming your canvas and making your skin nice first before you put on makeup is really, really important, obviously. For foundation, I'm gonna use my 3CE Cushion Baby Glow in 001. And I'm just using the little sponge that was provided. This is my new favorite foundation. And I can't believe that it works so well and it's so fucking cute. This is a Korean beauty product. And just in case you didn't know, Korea is banning all animal testing in 2018. So a lot of brands that were previously selling in China have already stopped selling in China. I'm really, really excited about this. I think K-beauty products are often so cute. The ingredients are really clean. And I love that it's really skin focused. This foundation literally just makes it look like my skin is flawless. And I am not even exaggerating. The way it looks right now is how it will look in six hours. Like, I don't know if you can see, but it's, it just looks like my skin. I've never had a foundation that like doesn't sit on top of my skin. I've had some that look pretty good, but this one just looks like skin. It's also kind of nice that your brushes don't get dirty using a cushion foundation. To conceal, I'm gonna use the Models Own Cover It Concealer in Light, and I'm applying it with the Pro 4M brush from the Furless Rose Gold. It's like the makeup brush set. Next, I'm gonna set my face with the RCMA No Color Powder, and I'm gonna use the Pro 2F brush from my brush set. I'm just going to tap that on under my eye quite lightly, and over my lids. And then with the Pro 3F, the large powder brush, I'm just going to set the rest of my face. I'm just using like a really small amount of powder. I want my face to be set, but I still want my skin to look like skin, and I don't want to completely dull all of the luminous foundation and concealer. I'm just applying the powder with a stippling motion instead of a sweeping motion, because I don't want to disturb my foundation. This brush is so soft. 
I've got all this extra powder in my hand and I'm going to attempt to put it, it didn't work. It didn't work. I didn't think it was gonna work, but you never know if you don't try. To contour, I'm gonna use this Pony Effect single shading little guy in the shade Crony. And I'm gonna use the Pro 5F to dust it in the hollow of my cheekbone. This is such a perfect natural contour shade. A little bit along my jawline. And then using the Pro 8E, I'm gonna go in and contour my nose. Still using the Pony Effect shading color in Crony. And blending it out. To highlight, I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlight Palette because I've been neglecting it. And I'm gonna use the Pro 5M in the shade Glow. Oh. For blush, I'm gonna use this stellar blush called Flare and the Pro 5F. This blush is super shiny and it just makes you look like a glowing goddess. Who doesn't want to look like a glowing goddess? My camera is breaking and it's pretty much new. We're gonna do a very precise brow. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Dip Brow in Ebony. And we're gonna draw in some new brow hairs. One of the things I really love about this brush is you can use it to draw in little precise hairs, but it's also excellent for other kinds of brows. Like this is a really good Instagram brow, brow brush. It's just the perfect texture. It's not too soft. It's not too stiff. It's nice and thin. It's just good. I'm just going in and doing a layer of slightly darker strokes. Mmm, that is a delicious, delicious brow. I don't even wanna like mess it up with brow gel, but I'm good. I'm sorry if my eyes look incredibly red. Every single makeup product I use and nowadays, hurts my eyes. I think that spring is coming and it might just be an allergy thing. My eyes are just constantly on fire. Eye drops don't even help. Maybe I'm just not using the right eye drops. I think this might be the best brow I've ever made. I don't even wanna do the other one. Oh, wait, I'm not ready to be back yet. I forgot to gel it. So here we are. This brow actually turned out not as badly as it usually does. I think it's because it's the second brow and I just don't take my time. I'm like, fuck this brow. I already did one and now I have to do another one and I'm always kind of bitter about it. But I took my time. I showed this brow some love and it was worth it, unfortunately. I'm really, really torn between doing a dramatic look and doing a, natu a natural look. So I think I'm gonna try and do kind of both. I'm thinking a cut crease, but like a light cut crease, like a solid cut crease. Yeah. I'm gonna use my Shade and Light Eye Palette by Cap on D. I've actually been using this a lot lately. Kind of forgot about it. Forgot how much I loved it. First, I'm gonna take the Pro 7E, my favorite brush in the world, and I'm gonna put some white all over the lid. And then still using the same brush, I'm gonna pick up some of this shade and blend that out in the crease. And then I'm gonna go in with this orangey shade and I'm gonna go right on top to warm it up. And keeping it super blended. And then with the Pro 3M, I'm gonna pick up a tiny bit of this shade. 
and I'm just gonna darken the crease a little bit. And then blend it out with the Pro 7E. To cut the crease, I'm gonna use the Pro 2M. This little brush will make doing a cut crease so much easier. Just looking straight ahead in the mirror, I've got a little bit of concealer on my brush. And I'm just gonna map out where I want it. A little bit above the lid. Just using a tiny bit of concealer to start with. Makes it a lot easier than trying to work with a whole bunch of product and get really messy. So you can see I just lightly mapped it out and now I'll go in with more product and really define that crease. I'm kind of tilting my head backwards so my eyelids kind of stretched out. And I can see what I'm doing. And then I always check Make sure it looks good when I'm looking straight ahead. This is especially important if you have hooded eyes. And I'm gonna bring it all the way down. I was kind of debating on doing like a half cut crease, but I'm gonna do the whole lid. I'm gonna do the other one off camera and I'll be right back. Done. I think I'm happy with the shape. It just looks really weird at this stage. I'm gonna dust a little bit of translucent powder over this concealer because it wants to crease so badly and I don't want it to cause my eyeshadow to crease when I put the eyeshadow on top. Going back into my shade and light palette, I'm gonna grab a little bit of this shade again. And I'm gonna shade the outer corner and the inner corner of the cut crease really lightly. Give it some dimension. And then I'm gonna go in with the white color. And I'm going to press it down the center. Look, it looks like big, shiny Jessica Rabbit eyelids. And then I'm gonna go into Glow from the BH Cosmetics palette again. And I'm gonna press it over that white. There's some actual glow. Put that under the brow a little bit too. And then the inner corner. Next with the Pro 6M, this little pencil brush. Pencil, this pretzel brush. Pencil brush. I'm gonna grab just a tiny bit of this light brown. Sharpen that cut crease. Since the line can get a little bit fuller with the shadows that you put on top. I hardly pick up any product. I'm almost just using this to dust off the product that covered the eyeshadow but also reinforce it a little bit. Just blending that out a little bit. You can totally skip those steps, it's not necessary. It just makes it look a little bit cleaner. So I'm gonna line my eyes with the NYX Epic Ink Liner. And I'm gonna place my wing right under where that cut crease ends. This is a really excellent eyeliner, I must say. This is what I have been reaching for lately to do my wings. It's a good liner day. That means it's a good day. For mascara, I'm using the Models Own Grand Master Lash. This has been my favorite mascara lately, but I only use it on the top lashes because it does transfer on the bottom lashes. But I'm actually not gonna wear anything on my bottom lashes or lash line today. 
With this look, I'm gonna use a little bit of a more subtle lash. These are the Rouge and Rogue Collab Lash with Teal Coco. And they're stunning, but they're a little bit shorter so you can actually see the eyeshadow. While the lash band is getting a little bit tacky, I'm gonna spray my face with the model's own One Night Stand setting spray. And then this little cutie should be ready, artistic. These are so cute. They're subtle, but effective. If you like these little babies, you can use my code. It's likely makeup for 10% off at Rouge and Rogue. They make my favorite lashes. You guys probably already know that. All I'm gonna do in the lower part of my eye is add a little bit of NYX Wonder Pencil. What shade is this? I think it's just light. Yeah, this is light. And then with the Pro 6E, I love this brush. And the Pony Cosmetics Main Stain in Little Palomino, I'm gonna put on my freckles. This brush, if you push really lightly, you can make really small little freckles. But if you push a little bit harder, you can make bigger freckles. The brush is really thin, but it's stiff enough that you can make a dot. If you don't wear freckles, this is an amazing eyeliner brush. It's amazing for detail work. You can use it for a lot of things. For the lips, I'm just gonna use a little bit of the NYX Liquid Suede in Tea and Cookies. Dab it all over with my finger for a really soft look. It's also more comfortable this way because you don't have like a thick layer of liquid lipstick on. I also think my lips look so nice and full when I don't have a really defined lip line. They look so juicy when it's kind of blurred. I think I kind of achieved what I was going for. I wanted it to be like somewhat natural, not natural, like chill, but dramatic. I think this works. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Please let me know if you bought my brushes on Saturday. I really want to say thank you. I love you guys so much and appreciate the support so much. With this eye look, I feel like I look like an Archie comic book character. You know how they have like the little eye ding? Their eyes are like ding. I feel like that's how I look right now. I'm into it. I'm gonna go eat some Mexican food now.